Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome once again to Stately Vaughn Manor. And today, I'm doing the B tag. I should be doing the Robert E. Howard show, but I didn't have time to film it yesterday. And I only have it half an hour this morning. So that's not enough time to do the Robert E. Howard show. So I'm going to be doing that either later this week or just, just do it next week. I uh, just, no time, man. No time. Sorry, Robert E. Howard fans. Maybe I can get it up later this week. Maybe. Anyway, the B tag. I can do that in half an hour. Uh, Jim's books, reading, and stuff did the tremendous alphabet tag series last year, which was a tremendous achievement in tags. And I, I vowed that this year I would do all of the tags that I didn't do last year. Uh, from the alphabet tags and I only did the A tag, the D tag, and the K tag. So I have a bunch of other alphabet tags I need to do starting with the B tag. So let's just do that one right now. I can knock that out, I think. Okay, let's let's read the prompts closely because I don't have my glasses on and I can't read very well without my glasses. But let's see what Jim has in store for us. For the B tag, B is for Bildungs Roman. Do you have a favorite Bildungs Roman, which is a coming of age story? Apparently, I do have a favorite. Uh, it's my favorite because it, is, because it is the best coming of age story, and that would be Tarzan. Tarzan of the Apes is the best coming of age story, as Tarzan comes of age in the jungle surrounded by apes and other savage animals, many of which want to eat him. It's an awesome story, Tarzan of the Apes. This is a volume that has the first three Tarzan novels in it. Tarzan. My favorite coming of age story because it's the best one. So uh, number two, B is for beach. Be careful how you pronounce it. Beach. What would you recommend for a beach read? Okay, I have a good beach read. Um, uh, just uh, the annotated Shakespeare. Just take this to the beach, hang out, throw down your blanket, read about Shakespeare, everything in a huge, gigantic annotated edition that you just, you know, throw in your purse or your bag. Uh, it's an excellent beach read. Yeah, that one. My tag tablet turned off. Let me turn my tablet back on. Uh, B is for Beagle. Not a prompt, but a chance to see our Beagle, Abby. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to show an animal. Um, I'm sure I could find one around here. Hold on. Hello, Rhonda. How are you doing? How are you doing, little friend? We're doing the B tag. It's very exciting. Yeah, I could tell how excited you are. Okay, that was, that was terrifying. So let's continue with the tag. Three, B is for the bet, or B is for best. What is the best book you have read this year so far? That's an easy one, the year hasn't been long. But definitely the best book I've read so far this year is The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien. Uh, first part of Lord of the Rings. Of course, this is the best book I've read this year because this book is fantastic. I hadn't read this for 20 years, a little over 20 years, since I had read this the last time. Um, and it's even better now. So, yeah, this, is, this was a fantastic reading experience. I look forward next month to reading The Two Towers because that was awesome. I really enjoyed that an awful lot. Okay, four. B is for bookshop or bookstore. Do you have a favorite bookstore? Yes, my favorite bookstore is Pegasus Books uh, on Solano Avenue in Berkeley, California. Uh, that is my favorite bookstore. I haven't been there in a little while because I've got this 100 we have to read a hundred book challenge thing I've got going on. I have to read a hundred books I already own before I buy any more. But when I do 
buy books at a bookshop, this is usually the one that I go to. So that was that. Uh, let's see. Five, B is for banned books. Is there any book you think should be banned? No. Uh, book banning is lame. Uh, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't ban books. I'm totally against that, of course. Um, number six, B is for Bible. What is your favorite book of the Bible and what trigger warnings do you think it should have? All of them probably, but I actually don't have a favorite um, book of the Bible. To be honest, it's not my favorite ancient book. Um, I have many other favorite ancient books. The Bible just isn't one of them and I don't have a favorite book of the Bible, sorry. Um, number seven, B is for bookshelf. Show me your bookshelf bookshelves. There it is. Okay, well, let, I did a whole bookshelf tour, but we'll just do like a real quick look. Okay, the bookshelf. So up there we have the teetering piles up there. Got the animal guardians there. And we have Swamp Thing over there on the far right to keep everything extra safe. Um, so those teetering piles of books, and then we've got the regular top shelf there with another Rhino and Ganesh and my buddies there. I uh, love those guys. And uh, moving down here, of course, there is Sherlock Holmes, the new annotated Sherlock Holmes, which is totally awesome. And then uh, you can see there's uh, Justin from This Just In and myself when we were gunfighters back in the Old West. We were very dangerous. Uh, back then and there's uh, you know if you want to play cello there's a bow there and moving down we've got uh, all of these books here and then we move down and we've got uh, more books the bottom shelf not too much has changed since I did the bookshelf tour I don't think not too much uh, there's Solomon Kane there I should be talking about Solomon Kane today and then if you want to snuff out a candle, there you go. And then at the very bottom, we have the cabinet. And if you look in here, it's just piles of randomness. Just random books that are just stuffed in here. Um, there's Caves of Steel. I'm going to read that soon. Oh, these are kind of cool. Uh, I've got this for, was it Sci-Fi November, I think it is? Or is it September? Sci-Fi September? November, whatever month it is, <laughs> that is sci-fi month. I'm all prepared because I pulled out uh, some old astoundings. Uh, I pulled out 1951. I'm missing a couple 1951s. This is February, and I don't have January 1951. But I've got, uh, I've got February here, 1951. Cool old cover. What else? I've got, uh, I've got March. Astounding 1951. That's a really cool cover. I Look at that. That's just so awesome. This is very random digression here. And then I, what is this? This is April 1951. Yeah. Already with my April 1951 Astounding. Uh, I've got May. Here's May 1951. Galactic Gadgeteers. That's going to be fun. And then I've got... Um, uh, this is July, so I'm missing uh, June. I need to get June. Um, but yeah, there's July. And August 1951. Look at that dude. Yeah. And September 1951. Already. And this is uh, Ice World by Hal Clement. Uh, it was a three-part serial in Astounding beginning in October. And uh, this is the beginning of that. I love this cover. That is so awesome. And then we got November. Which continues. Ice World is in that. And then some random spaceship in December. And that should do it. Only, I think I pulled this one out by accident. That's That's 1957. That's June 1957. But look at, he's got the super scientific gadget where he can talk to people with the television screen there. He must have a good Wi-Fi connection because he's way out in the north. 
Wow, this uh, went in another direction. Okay, anyway, that was my bookcase. Uh, now back to the tag. Okay, that was a fun digression. Let's, uh, let's see. What are we at? We're at number eight. B is for Brazil. Paulo Coelho's The Alchemist has been translated into 70 languages. Impressive. Uh, have you read any Paulo Coelho? And if so, what did you think of his book books? Um, I have not read The Alchemist yet. I don't know why. I, I actually don't have a copy of that book. That's probably why I haven't read it. Um, I have not read any of his books, so I cannot comment. I have heard good things. I have heard bad things, but I have not read any of his books. I'm practically you know, illiterate. I haven't read Paulo Coelho, but I will, I will correct that. I will, um, I will read one of his books, probably The Alchemist, because that seems like the book to read. I will read that in the future at some point before I die, hopefully. And that's it. That's the whole tag. See, I knew I could knock this out in a half an hour and I will just do some lame thumbnail uh, last minute and just throw it out there into the world to further embarrass myself. I will not tag anybody because this came out last May. Um, and I think everybody in the world has done this. So uh, I will uh, link the original down below, of course, because Jim is awesome. Jim's, Jim's books and reading and stuff is an incredible booktube channel, which you should be watching. And yeah, that's it. I will catch you tomorrow for the books that time forgot. Then it is comic book day and Wednesday. And then I've got a review of Firestarter by Stephen King. Whole bunch of exciting things coming up ahead this week. Thanks, guys. I will catch you next time.